I'm Caitlin E and welcome to the lit review. Today we're going to do a second part of what I hope to be a long running series on this channel, which is my romancing the tarot series. So back in March, I did a setup of this series where I did five pulls of my uh, like bachelor themed tarot deck uh, that I supported on Kickstarter. Oh, look at the pretty gold foil. Ch decided to pick romance novels based on prompts I created for all the different cards. Uh, now this deck is called the Final Rose Tarot. Uh, I again supported it on Kickstarter from a like indie artist uh, duo and really love the quality of it and I thought it was so perfect to be able to combine romance with this cute uh, reality dating TV show themed tarot deck. So they've reworked the major and minor arcana uh, if you're familiar with typical tarot and so I just created prompts for each and every single one of their cards uh, but I would love to run this like my own version of a reality dating show. So you've seen episode one where I did the card polls. Uh, the follow-up to that, the wrap-up to that, is a uh, uniquely styled video that I'm currently still filming and working on, but I thought to whet your appetite I would at least do the second poll so I can keep the series going because it is structured very much like a reality dating show. So in episode one, you saw me do my first impression rose, which was a book that I picked out from a recent haul that just seemed the most interesting to me. The rest of that episode, I commenced pulling the first group date, which was five of those tarot cards. So five unique prompts. Um, I could kind of combine prompts into one book if I could make it work. Uh, and that's, that's what we're going to do here again today. So I created this little infographic to kind of tell you where we're going which if you look at it, uh, we've got a long way to go, let me tell you. So what I'm going to do is uh, shuffle through our deck here together uh, and then just pull more cards. I will keep out like the five cards that I did before so that we're not duplicating prompts within the same season. So I'll go all the way through that inf infographic until I declare like the winner of Romancing the Tarot season one. Uh, and if this is something that feels fun for you, We'll keep it going. Uh, I've also created a story graph challenge down below if you would also like to participate. Uh, so all the prompts from episode one are already up there and by the time this video goes live I will have updated it to include prompts from episode two so that you can do this alongside me as well. We still have plenty of prompts to get through. Let me shuffle. Just kind of putting our intention into the cards. Help me find a good romance read. Uh, so much like last time we're doing another group date. So again that will be five different polls. I can double up or triple up or however many, if I could fit one book with all prompt, like all five prompts, like boom, we're good. So it's as many as I can think to put together. Um, and I will be specifically looking at books that are already in my collection. Uh, this is part of how I am trying to read through what I already have and like find what's best from what I already own. So while there may be books out there that fit the prompt better or would just maybe be more my speed uh, and I don't own them yet, this is really about helping me get through what I've already got. But please feel free to follow along and do this your way uh, if you decide to follow us in the story graph challenge or you know do this on your own. So first of five polls here. Okay, this card is called The Fans but let's see what I listed this prompt as. Okay, so the fans, uh, I created this saying it's a book talker or book tuber favorite, which is fortunate because I recently saw Jess from Peace Love Books XO do a like favorites of 2022 so far video for her romances. So let me go uh, check that out and I'll report back. Okay, so Jess had a lot of amazing recommendations, things that I definitely have added a couple to my digital TBR of like, ooh, I would like to read that. But the only one that I actually owned <laughs> is uh, Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke. And this is the Hello Lovely uh, Trope of the Month box edition. Uh, but you can also, I believe, find this on Kindle Unlimited. It's the only one, so it was kind of easy. Very, very easy. Uh, so I know for sure I will be reading this for uh, the second group date. Let's pull the rest of our cards. So second pull. Oh, okay. This one is called Meeting the Parents. 
Oh, okay. So for this card, meeting the parents, I created the prompt that says strong family presence or a family series. So a good example of this, well, like if I wanted to read one of the Bridgerton books, like that's a family series or um, I've already completed this trilogy, but like the Brown Sisters trilogy, that would be a family series. Um, strong family presence could also mean that there's just like your family is involved in, it doesn't have to be a series. It could just be like a standalone where family is important. I have a lot of family series, so I feel like we have options here. All right, next poll. The producer plant. Um, okay, but what is the actual prompt for this? Oh, 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 wow, I was feeling cheeky when I wrote these. So producer plant is read a romance from the Goodreads best of list. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, clearly there's a lot of feelings in the romance community about the quality of the Goodreads list. So, um, I think I already know what this is going to be though, like with some of them, but let me come back to that in a minute. Poll number four. Oh, this is such a pretty card. It's called the moon. Oh, this also makes sense. Look, present tense me is very proud of cheeky past tense me. Uh, the moon... <laughs> <laughs> is a paranormal or urban fantasy. Uh, and then our last poll for this group date. Oh, okay. The Hopeless Romantic. Oh, okay. So for The Hopeless Romantic, we'll be reading a book with a clinch cover. Uh, so the clinch cover, if you are like new to the romance uh, world, clinch covers are basically like sexier prom poses. <laughs> Like truly, uh, they are like wrapped up in each other, but just like they're entangled in one another. It's, it's smexy prom pose. <laughs> okay. So like, I have so many options for these things. I mentioned this earlier. I know I'm going to be reading Waking Olivia by Elizabeth O'Rourke because it was the only thing on Jess's book list that I actually owned. Meeting the parents. Ugh. Let me grab a couple of them because there's like a ton of them. Okay, so like legitimately, I know I have more than this in this room, but I can't, I can't find them all. I'll list some of the other ones that came to mind as I was scrolling through Goodreads. So some of the ones I don't have like in front of me, but I do own um, are Accidentally Engaged by Farah Haran. Um, Delilah Green Doesn't Care is another one that came up. Um, and then in this, this room, I have Ramon and Julieta by Alana Quintana Albertson, uh, which, which could be a good fit. Um, and then I also have Erica Ridley, The Perks of Loving a Wallflower, which is part of the Wild Winchester series. And I think this could also work for a clinch cover. So we might, okay, so meeting the parents for sure. I think this would count for a clinch. Like they're not in like a super standardy, like bodice ripper-esque pose, but like they're clearly like in up in each other. So I feel like this is the modern version of the clinch cover. Somebody could fight me on that if they really wanted to, but I think I'm gonna double dip with this prompt. But yeah, two, two for one, I'll take it. So that leaves us with two other ones. Let's see, the producer plant. I did take a beat and go look this up. Yeah. People We Meet on Vacation by Emily Henry, I believe won for 2021 on the Goodreads Choice Awards. I had kind of mixed feelings about uh, the one that everybody loves from Emily Henry Beach Read. Like I didn't hate it, don't get me wrong. Like it was a solid read, but it, it was not my bread and butter in the way that it was for so many people when Beach Read came out. So I'm a little nervous about this one, uh, but this is the producer plant prompt, so. Yeah, seems legit. And that leaves us, that leaves us with The Moon, which is a paranormal or urban fan, paranormal romance or urban fantasy romance. I'm just, just waving this card everywhere, chaotic energy. I actually love this subgenre, so let me pull a couple of options. Okay, so again, probably own way more than this than what I'm showing, but these are just some ones that grabbed me. How to Tame a Beast in Seven Days by Carolyn Sparks. Um, and this one, what type of paranormal are you? Oh, they can wield lightning. Okay, so we're definitely in paranormal territory. Uh, then I have Better Off Red by Rebecca Weatherspoon. This is sapphic vampires. And I found it at a used bookstore and uh, author, author signed. So, you know, this is the magic moment when you find things like that. And then option three, even though I definitely have more options than this, uh, is 
would be a reread for me, but it's been so long that I've mostly forgotten uh, this series and whether or not it's good. Uh, so that is Bond of Blood by Diane Whiteside, and this is, it says on the cover, a Texas vampire novel. So that is that is the right pitch for this. It is vampires in Texas. I, I must have been in a vampire mood because two of my, my three options are vampires. They're, they're making a comeback. Mark my words. I do, I do kind of think I'm going to go with Better Off Red. Um, I really like Rebecca Weatherspoon. I read Zenny for the first time back in like June and couldn't believe that I had taken me that long to read Zenny because it was freaking fantastic. So I think I leaning towards Better Off Red. So this is my second group date for Romancing the Tarot. Please feel free to do this alongside me if this is interesting to you. Again, I'll link the story graph down below in case you'd like to participate. Uh, and you may have different interpretations of these prompts. Super excited to see what you all do with them. Uh, but this is my next uh, agenda for Romancing the Tarot, and we'll see how these go. Thanks for hanging out with me. Uh, I'll see you on the next one. Bye.